How you doing, everybody? So I'm going to keep this really, really simple, okay? When you go to your local supermarket and you're buying, I'm going to take one, 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 one product, a tomato. We're going to talk about tomato right now. You go to your local supermarket and you buy that tomato that's on the shelf and it's being produced from a huge corporation that wants to maximize the, their, they want to maximize their dollars. They want to get the biggest bang for their buck. Remember that. Opposed to going to a farmer's market and I actually search and I seek out uh, Amish or Mennonites, you know, the guys with the funny hats and the beards. I actually search these guys out because their way of growing is, I, in my opinion, is the best. I don't believe they believe in pesticides. I believe they believe in trying to keep things as, as natural as possible. They don't have TVs. A majority of them don't. Majority of them don't have electricity. Majority of them don't have cars. They do things kind of really old school. And that's who I search out is for my organic. Now, I want to tell you a story about a tomato, the life of a tomato from these big corporations that produce the majority of our food that's in our supermarket. I had a gentleman come in here last week, a friend of mine, and I, I make things for him, but he was also a truck driver for years. What he told me was when they pick a tomato in California that he's got to haul here, they pick it green. Now, I believe if you pick something green or something that's not ripe, I, don't, I believe that the nutrients that are in that green tomato are not as strong or powerful or as much that would be in a ripe red tomato that you would pick out of your own garden or from a farmer's market because typically that was, that was picked that morning or the morning before. So I believe that the nutrients in that tomato, in a green tomato, is much less than a red tomato. That's, I've always thought that. But what bothered me about his story, and the reason they do that, just they, the reason why they got to pick a green is because by the time it gets to our shelves here from California to Minnesota, if they picked it red, that tomato is going to be rotting the whole way in the truck, in that hot truck. So by the time it gets to us, the consumer, it's already going to be mushy. It's already going to be in the, it's going to be already in, in, a, in, in starting going through a rotting process that it won't be fresh. So you're not going to buy it. The supermarket will lose money. So that's how, that's why they do it. And this is just one, one crop tomato. I'm assuming they do this to hundreds of different crops. But I'm only assuming on this, but typically when you think of something as this simple, when you think that that is the correct answer, it typically is. So, but what really bothered me about his story is what he told me next. Is on every occasion, and I don't know if this is a, this is a standard in that industry, but he said on every occasion, he made many, many, many trips with tomatoes. What they would do is they would open up the back doors, They'd grab one of these pesticide smoke bombs and they would whip it back there. They'd close up the doors real quick and they say, don't breathe this. This stuff is nasty. Do not breathe this pesticide smoke bomb. And I went, are you kidding me? He said, no, every occasion. So that smoke coming off this smoke bomb is in the back of this, in back of the, the truck. That smoke is getting attached. The pesticide is getting attached to the tomato. And I believe some of that stuff is leaching into your product at, from the, you know, this product you get at the store. So I always wash my, my produce as much as I can. You know, lettuce and, and spinach, I just rinse it off really, really good. I don't go through and wash it for every individual leaf, but I do wash my products, you know, my, even my organic stuff, I'll wash it, you know, quite well. So when you go to the store, and you look at a tomato at the supermarket, you may not look at a tomato the same way as you would, you know, from a day ago if you watch this video. The thing about the Amish tomato, the organic tomato, when you eat and take a bite into that tomato, the flavors will just explode your taste buds. It tastes completely different than 
a tomato, an average tomato you get at the supermarket. Try it. Try to find a local grower and ask him when he picked it and take a bite out of it. Go to your store, take a bite of that, out of that tomato and see what the flavors are. I bet you they're going to be different for you. I think you're going to want to choose the more organic one. So that story he told me really cemented my belief in trying to go organic. Now, one tomato that you eat that has pesticides that are leached into it, I don't think it's a big deal. But I think over time, a thousand tomatoes over 20 years, I don't believe your body really likes that stuff. I mean, could you kind of, it makes sense, right? And that's only one product. I'm not talking about all the other hundreds of products you're shoving in your mouth over time. So this is why I choose to go the way I go. A lot of people don't want to choose that way. That's fi totally fine with you, you know. But for me, this is the way to go. And I think the older I get, the more I think this way. So go to your local store. When you go grab some tomatoes, for so you're making some sort of sauce for a sloppy joes or spaghetti or whatever you do, I think you're going to look at a tomato a little bit differently, guys. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Be safe. And until next time.